why our laptop uh, battery draining too fast especially if you're using older laptop like two to three years old and also newer one while buying that laptop they claim this laptop is going to give five to six hours of battery on an average but now it's giving two to three hours are you facing the same problem like me then watch this video till the end i'm gonna suggest you what are the 10 things you are doing wrong with your laptop that affecting your battery life okay and also important thing i'm going to give a solution for that each problem so without further ado let's get started Nowadays, we all people have the habit of letting apps to run in the background, just like smartphone in laptop also, which results in slowing your laptop as well as affecting your battery performance as well. To improve your battery performance, battery efficiency, just take care of this step, okay? Close the software as soon as you're done with that. Don't just minimize, don't just leave as it is, just close it, okay? And also, there are many softwares that are going to run in the background without our sense. To check that softwares which are running in the background, just go to setting, go to privacy and click on the background apps. As you can see, there are many softwares that are running in the background without our sense. So just close all the apps which you don't want to run in the background to save some battery life. Second one, use of external keyboard and mouse. This is also one of the unnoticed things that is going to drain your laptop battery. Like if you use any external mouse or keyboard, uh, especially for that gamers who uses that high glowing RGB backlight keyboard and mouse to get that fancy look. I know that looks really dope, but to get that fancy look, we just get ready for that low battery performance from the laptop. To get that high battery performance out of your laptop, we need to just get rid of all those high glowing RGB backlight keyboard and mouse and just use simple wired uh, mouse and keyboard and also if you are using your laptop keyboard then use that laptop keyboard without any keyboard backlight. Nowadays every laptop has a keyboard backlight, just turn it off to get some more extra battery. Third one, overuse of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Some of you guys always keep our Wi-Fi in on mode. That's because if you get any free Wi-Fi, our laptop will get connected to that free Wi-Fi automatically. Then we can access data freely, unlimitedly. Am I right? Are you the same guy like me? Let me know in the comment section which type of person you are. Okay. That all apart, uh, if you keep our Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in always in on mode, even if you close the lid of our laptop, our laptop will go under the sleep mode. It's not going to turn off our laptop until unless if you hit that uh, shutdown button. Okay. In the sleep mode, our uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is going to run in the background without our sense, which start to scan automatically to get uh, connected to any external device. Okay. Which literally drain our laptop battery. So when you're done with that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, just uh, put your laptop in airplane mode, which literally boost your a system performance as well as a battery performance fourth one longer sleep time in day-to-day -day usage like uh, while using our laptop if somebody calls us or if you get any kind of work uh, we guys used to keep our laptop as it is in a running mode not only that kind of situation the situation like uh, we guys used to watch many movies in laptop in our bed uh, at late 12 o'clock one o'clock uh, and we guys gradually sleep uh, uh, by keeping our laptop as it is in a running mode at that time uh, if our laptop sleeps after 15 minutes 20 minutes that uh, uh, of course that is going to uh, affect on our battery performance that's why short on the sleep time of laptop and you can do it by two uh, two ways first one you can do it by manually go to the power option and click on the sleep and second one you can do it by automatically just tell the machine on which time you should sleep uh, for that go to the search button and search for power and sleep as you can see there are many options 5 10 15 and select according to you fifth one use up speakers nowadays every laptop has pre-built in speakers some speakers are good some speakers are bad irrespective of uh, quality of that speaker irrespective of places we guys used to listen the music at maximum value because we bit famous for making noise pollution <laughs> listening at maximum value not only affect your hearing not only make disturbance to others but also going to affect your battery health a lot so try not to use your uh, pre-built in speakers regularly uh, to hear your music just use headphones or earphones instead of that by hearing this uh, earphones uh, I remember my recent video on the Ray Buds Air Pro, which are really great earphones under 5000 rupees, which are really underrated one. So I'm giving link in the description box or i button over here. Just you guys can check out that are really underrated product under 5000 rupees. So have a look. Sixth one, poor usage. 
by the way the background has changed that's because while i was shooting this six point my camera along with the 50 mm lens has fallen down by accidentally and uh, my 50 mm lens stopped working out of focus uh, which is really bad thing for me because that cost me around 9000 rupees this day is really unlucky for me okay please hit that like button to motivate uh, such because this takes a lot of hard work okay that's all about let's focus on the main things what uses means let me clear a myth about laptop charging okay we guys used to keep our laptop for a whole night for a charging we guys used to keep our smartphone for a whole night for charging you may heard from somebody in somewhere if you keep our laptop for a charging whole night that will damage our battery health the battery may blast or it will affect our battery health in a long term is that really true nope that's completely wrong thing uh, it's just a myth okay that's because once our battery hits 100 percent it stops charging irrespective of how many days how many hours you keep that laptop for charging that's a myth actually but the bad thing but the bad habit is if you use your laptop when your laptop has a a battery of below 15 percent that is sure going to affect your battery health in long term okay try not to use your laptop when your laptop has a battery uh, below 15 percent or so okay seventh one using our laptop in high temperature if you use our laptop in high temperature which literally heats up our laptop which is really bad thing for our laptop components like motherboard processor and also battery that's because nowadays each laptop battery is made up of lithium ion or lithium polymer which is really harmed by the heat that's because the batteries are going to work on the chemical reaction between positive ion and the negative ion if you use our laptop in uh, a high temperature area then this will literally accelerate that uh, moment between those ions which literally heats up the battery more which is really bad thing for the battery health okay try not to use your laptop in the area which is where the temperature is more than 35 degrees celsius or 40 degrees celsius and so main thing try not to use your laptop while charging that's because the battery has to do the thing two things simultaneously which is really bad thing for the battery for a long term usage so try to avoid Eighth one, using laptop displays at max brightness. Laptop displays are the one thing which require more power from the battery, especially if you use that displays with the max brightness, that is going to consume your battery a lot, okay? Try to reduce your uh, screen brightness. Use your laptop displays with the 30 to 50% of brightness, which is very good for your eyes as well as your, uh, your battery. And also nowadays, every laptop has auto brightness option. Don't use this one. Again, it needs extra power from the battery. Use it manually, do it manually. And yeah, 30 to 50% brightness is uh, really good for your battery health. Ninth one, not using battery saver mode. This is the best and easy way to save your battery. Just tell the machine you want to save your battery and rest of the things you will automatically done by the machine. And you can do it by two ways. As you can see, there is one battery icon in the right corner. Just click on that one. And as you can see, there are four levels. First one, battery saver. Second one, better battery. Third one, better performance. And final one, best performance. And always keep it to the battery saver level if you want to save your battery. And second way, just search in the search bar battery saving option. As you can see, there are many options to save your battery. Just read it carefully and just turn down the, all the options. And you can tell the machine on which particular level uh, the battery saver mode should automatically start. 30%, 40%, 50% and you can choose it accordingly. Once your laptop enters into the battery saving mode, that is going to save your battery a lot by reducing the performance by reducing the screen brightness overall it's going to optimize everything and it will give best battery life for you 10th one unimportant notification using these simple steps we can also save some battery like getting rid of cortana out of 10 people 9 people are not going to use cortana which is going to run in the background and also turning up notification turning up windows auto updates that's because once you connect your laptop to the external network without our sense in the background windows is going to check is there any windows updates are available some windows tips and tricks which is going to consume our battery a lot or little bit so just get rid of all those things so to get a better battery life and also to boost your system performance and also recently i made a video on how to boost our system performance how to speed up any windows laptop in using 10 simple steps which are easy to follow again in that video you are going to get how to turn off this notification how to turn off windows auto updates again there is a link is in the below box you guys can follow okay if you are already doing all these simple steps then if you are not getting a satisfactory battery power then you can do one thing just go to the setting go to the update and security and click on the troubleshooter and select the power 
and run the troubleshooter which is going to detect some error and bugs in the laptop which are reason for draining your laptop battery and it is going to fix it automatically by your laptop and yeah that's all about this video and also i want to ask one question how many hours of battery backup is your laptop giving right now uh, let me know in the comment section okay don't forget so yeah that's all about this video and uh, subscribe if you are not like if you want thanks for watching see you next video until that take care goodbye